What's up guys, this is I Dig Stuff again, and today we're gonna to be talking about creating an alt sound from scratch, so here we go. Over here on altsound.vpin24.com, take a look. Make sure the alt sound that you wanna do isn't already finished. You can see here, they're all listed by uh, ROM name. And you can click Enhance to go down to the bottom and just make sure that it's not here either. F6 Alt Sound Dump Tool. Here's our step-by-step. -step. Make sure your ROM is in the VPIN MAME ROMs folder. Well, VPIN MAME, ROMs, BTTF is the one we're gonna do today. We're checking that it's actually in there, and it is. Next step, run pin MAME 32. Well, where's that? That's in our VPIN MAME if you scroll down here. Uh, pin name 32.exe, double click. So one thing, I wanna make this bigger so we can see, and then go back to the future. There's our ROM that we are using that we just ch double checked in our ROMs folder. Double click, and that will launch. Okay. Now at this point, we basically just follow the instructions here, but it could be, it's not exactly super clear, so let's just keep going. Double click on it and run the ROM to run the emulation. We just did that. Click any key to start the ROM emulation, which is what we're gonna do. Now, here's the part that it doesn't tell you here, but this is, luckily, Apophis has made this awesome guide. Press F4 to get to the sound command mode. Well, there we are. Sound command mode. F6, record alt sound and CSV. Well, you, you're probably tempted to just hit F6, right? Well, just a couple steps we have to do just to before we uh, kick it off. So we're gonna hit delete to go to the manual command mode. Then here, we need to tell it where to start. So we're gonna tell it to start at the beginning. Now set all the characters to zeros by pressing the zero button on the keyboard. Well, that's what we did. Press the delete button again to go back to the command mode. Well, okay. Now we're back over here. You'll see here, now we have zeros telling it, hey, we're at the beginning. Now we're ready. That's that's really all we have to do to prep it to do an automatic ROM dump. To start the alt sound, press F6. This will begin automatically cycling through all the sound files starting from address 0000 and ending on 00FF, a total of 256. You will hear the sound files play. A wave file will be generated for each track and placed in VPIN MAME wave. Now you probably haven't even noticed, but in your vpin main folder, you already have a folder called wave. There's nothing in it now, but as it dumps, we'll see the files start populating into this folder. And if there no sound for that hex code, it takes a second for this to automatically realize that and then skip to the next one. So it does create a file, but it'll be a tiny file like four kilobytes. And all this is saying is uh, when we're done, we're gonna separate all those four kilobyte files and delete them out because we're not gonna use them, okay? If the sound file loops, the dump process may not notice it has completed as it listens for a pause in the track to move to the next address. In this case, you will have to manually go to the next soundtrack by pressing the space bar. So it's not a, a start it and walk away type situation. You do have to monitor it as it's dumping. Um, I think there's a timeout after five minutes, but I usually give it two minutes max. So if one sound's been playing for two minutes, I will two minutes I will hit the space bar and skip to the next one, and that's all that's telling you to do. If you have VPN main wave folder open, you can see the wave files being created. We just talked about that, and we're gonna do that. And then once it's completed, you can exit. So let's let's get started. So you can see as soon as we hit F6, the CSV is created. And you see a four kilobyte file here for zero because there was nothing on zero and it detected that and went on to number one. And number one says zero kilobytes because it's actually being recorded right now. If we go over here, you can see right here we're on number one. Number one. And you'll see that it'll automatically jump to sound two. And there's our file, here's sound two, and now it's being recorded. Gotta get back in time. And 
And as you can hear, this one's just kind of a loop. There it goes. Still the same track. So that's, a, that's actually a good lesson there. You want to make sure that you've heard the entire changing part of the file before you move on to anything. So you don't want to miss it. Especially with the music. Now for demonstration purposes, we'll just move on to the next one. And that's really it. You just go through the files. Right now, obviously, all the music files are first. But as we skip through here... So you can see now we're... Okay, five and six were both four kilobyte files, which means there was nothing there. At the end, those are the files we go back and highlight and delete out because we will not be using them. These have data on the file so these are good sounds here and you know it's kind of fun I just kind of like listening to the music of the tables to be honest so see if we can get some of the sound effects still music now if you wanted to change the soundtrack later these are the files that you'd be switching out And we'll actually have another video where we do just that. Wish you guys could see me rocking out. There we go. Now after nine, it'll go to A. Then a B, I think it goes through E. No, F, sorry, it goes through F. So zero through nine, then A through F is the order. A little more music here. Okay, and then once it's done to F, you see that it goes to the next column and starts back at zero in our end column. So now we're counting up. It skipped a bunch there because we didn't have anything. And if you look back over here, it's clear which has and which doesn't. And when you're done, you will have something like this. See that all the four kilobyte files have been deleted. And we just have actual files with sounds on them left. Then we went into... This one was actually created by Apophis, the same guy, who made this awesome guide for you guys. So he actually added some functionality to pin MAME that was not there because Back to the Future was so desperately in need of uh, an alt sound, basically. He added that functionality just to make this for you guys. So make sure to give him a big thanks for that. Here's the alt sound, CSV. And you can see the volumes have been tweaked a little bit. We've assigned some channels here, especially to these. Channel 1. Okay, these are random channels, some more levels have been set, and you can see where the music's been inserted, Power of Love, New Lightning, you know, uh, mu different music, and we'll get into all that in a separate video. But today we just wanted to talk about creating the actual alt sound from scratch using PinMame32, and that's what we did. So if you guys have any other questions, I'm happy to answer them. Feel free to leave comments. Make sure you subscribe. And thanks for watching.